Hi, so you want a quick and easy plumbing checklist to use for your vacation rental? In this video, I'm gonna share some of my tips of preventative maintenance for plumbing. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi, I'm Derek with A Vacation Rental Life. And first off, before I get into my plumbing tips, I wanna make sure you know about our inventory checklist. This is a list that goes room by room and lets you know everything that you should have in your vacation rental so you get five-star reviews, simplify your life, and expedite your launching of your vacation rental. All right, so you want to know some plumbing hacks that you should take advantage of when you launch your vacation rental? Let's get started. First off, you need to know where your water lines shutoffs are. Normally, most most properties have a main shutoff valve that shut off plumbing water supply line for the entire property. And then you have water shutoffs for individual fixtures, such as behind your toilet, underneath your sinks, et cetera. Knowing where your main water shutoff valve could save you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars, if not even a million dollars, if you're in a high, high rise residential stack. So you need to know where these are so that if you have a plumbing issue, you can quickly shut off your water. And on that, on that note, if you are in a, in a market where your property might be vacant for long periods of time, such as a month or two months, it would be in your best interest to train your cleaning staff or maintenance staff, whoever you have available to shut off those water lines when the property is gonna be vacant for a long period of time. That way, if there's a, a failure of any of your fixtures, you're not going to be flooding your property and possibly your neighbor's property if you're, if you're in multifamily buildings. All right, so ne next up, you wanna replace your water supply lines every 10 years. And now this 10 year recommendation, that's for if they're the braided stainless steel supply lines. These are the highest quality. If you have plastic ones, one, I would recommend changing them out for the braided ones because they tend to last much, much longer. And two, they definitely don't last 10 years. So definitely talk to your hardware store professional about that. Um, but changing, changing those out could save you so much money down the road. So be, be mindful of that. Next up, check your hot water tank age. Uh, most people don't realize this, but the recommended lifespan of a hot water tank is only 10 years. So if you have a hot water tank that's more than 10 years, and I've seen them in some properties up to 20 years old, definitely replace it. It's a ticking time bomb. And when, the, when those go, they can dump you know, 35, 50 gallons, 80 gallons, 100 gallons of water in your property. And you don't want to have that happen. So next up, and this kind of goes hand in hand with uh, the hot water tank is potentially buy and place moisture alarms throughout your property. These are little devices that have metal contacts on the bottom so that if they detect any moisture, they start making a noise. So this can be your first line of defense if you have a failure such as under your sink or at your hot water tank, anything like that. It'll start making a noise, alerting you of a problem before it gets really bad. So I recommend putting these in under sinks, behind toilets potentially. Uh, they, they can save you a lot of time and hassle later on down the road. Next up, this is one of my favorite uh, tips is a zip it drain cleaning tool. This is a preventative maintenance hack. And if you don't know what these are, you can take a look here. I'll share share my screen. So these are tools that you can get at Home Depot, Air, at uh, Amazon. They have little teeth on them and you can use them to put down the your shower drains, tub drains, stuff like that, and pull out any, any potential blockages before it becomes an issue. So doing this every three to six months in your property could save you from getting that phone call of having a slow slow drain, which there, to be honest, there's nothing really nastier because you know what what is blocking that that drain when when that happens to you. So going and preventatively every every time you visit your vacation home, having one of these tools handy and doing that would uh, definitely be on my to do list as a vacation rental owner. All right, so for for for. If you want to buy one of these, you can definitely click the link in the description. Um, we have have one. And those are the those are the exact ones that I use in my vacation rental business. All right. For more tips and tricks just like this, go visit our vacation rental life Facebook group. We have hundreds of vacation rental owners and managers from all around the world 
sharing their ideas and helping each other grow their business, get more bookings and make their lives easier. Also, if this is your first time checking out one of our videos, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss any of this content in future weeks. And as always, remember to work smart, not hard, and live your vacation rental life. Thank you.